Hello and welcome to another video where today we're in the aquarium in Costa de Guise. Now this is a great place if you're looking for something to do in Lanzarote. I'm going to give you all the information, there's a link below. Make sure to like, follow and subscribe. Let's go take a look at all the fish at the aquarium in Lanzarote. Let's go. So this is the only aquarium in Lanzarote and it's situated in the resort of Costa de Guise. It's actually behind the Los Ocos Hotel and behind the El Trabal Hotel. Really easy to find within walking distance of all the hotels in Costa de Guise but if you're stopping in Playa Blanca or Puerto del Carmen you would either need a car to get there or get the local bus as they do not offer a pickup service on the island. You enter the aquarium on the top floor and go downstairs and it's a pretty cool place. It's all underground and it's got that real underwater feel and all the water from the aquariums is reflected on the walls and the lights are dimmed so it is a really, really cool place to walk around and on a nice quiet day it's very peaceful as well. Now they did have these little touch pools which had starfish and different creatures in there so great for the kids to explore. There was many aquariums to walk around with all different species of fish, all different sizes, saltwater fish, colourful fish, huge fish, so lots of different things to see. And it all gives an explanation at each aquarium of what's in there and what you can see, so very educational as well. As we are in the Canary Islands, a lot of the aquariums were named after different parts of the islands and a lot of the fish you'd find typical to Lanzarote, Tenerife or Gran Canaria, but there were tropical fish as well and corals from all around the world. Now of course, no aquarium is complete without finding Dory, but could we also find Nemo? Of course we found Nemo and he was in an aquarium with all his mates that are in the film. So it's really cool if you've got little children that you can say, come on, let's go find Dory, let's go find Nemo. And it just takes a couple of hours out of your day to do something different and keep the kids entertained because that's what it's all about. And if you want to see more of Nemo, there was a little tank with loads of his friends in also. A great place for little ones. So this had to be my favourite character and it was a giant sea turtle that was rescued in Famara in Lanzarote and they brought it to the aquarium and made sure it was safe. Now we did get a special treat because they were feeding the turtle and I've been told that this happens around 11, 11.30 most days so that's a good time to come down and it's really cool there's a guy there that explains everything about him, the backstory of how he was rescued and it's just a really nice story to hear and of course you get to see the turtle being fed. Now we're going to show you the sharks in just a minute and they also feed the sharks so I'm going to give you loads of information about that so stay tuned. Now you're not going to get bored here, there's plenty to look at, it's only a small aquarium but it's great for the family and you can wander around, have a look at all the different aquariums and there's these beautiful places with the giant aquariums as well where you can sit down and relax and just look at some huge, huge fish and of course the sharks, they're on the way, let's take a look. So in the big giant aquariums, not only have you got stingrays, but you've got sharks as well. And there is an opportunity at the aquarium to swim with the sharks. I'm gonna put all the links below so you can see how you can do that. But you can actually get in these tanks and swim with the sharks. So these huge aquariums are nice to sit, relax, and just watch the world go by. And you can see the sharks swimming around. But there is something a little bit different as well that you can do here at the aquarium. And there's my two messing around and pulling faces under the water in a giant see-through tube. So there's a walkway underneath there where you can literally walk underneath the sharks and they'll swim right over your head. It is a pretty cool experience. So this is the walkway through the tube and you can walk through, look up and see the sharks swimming right above your head. It's as if you can reach out and touch them and you do actually feel like you're underwater. Now there's loads of different species in there as well and you can spend a good bit of time in here just chilling out, relaxing, looking up and it really does take you in an underwater environment and it's like diving without getting your hair wet. 
So there are a couple of these big giant tanks which are home to some of the big, big fish and it's just a great place to sit down and just chill out and watch the fish swim around. Now in here you've got huge stingrays, you've got big beasts like this bad boy here and you've also got the sharks. Now, as I said, they do feed the sharks on a Monday, Wednesday and Friday between 12 and 12.30. So that is an ideal time to go and visit the aquarium. Now we all know the hot topic at the moment is the environment but on your way out it does show you what we are doing to the planet and what we're doing to the oceans with all the rubbish in there. So this just gives you a little bit of a thought after you've walked around and seen the beautiful underwater world exactly what humans are doing and it just makes you think so I think this was a really good touch. Now no attraction is complete without a little gift shop on the way out and Mrs Travelon was ready to spend money so I swooped in and managed to persuade Alfie to spend one euro on one of these where you put the little coin in and you turn the handle and it presses a little imprint on the coins. These are quite popular around the Canary Islands. You give them a turn and if you're not too strong then you call your big bro and your big bro comes with the muscles and gets the job done done these are a nice little souvenir and you'll find these around the canary islands in places like Loro park siam park and here and they're just a nice little keepsake of your holiday now all in all the day was fabulous it cost us 15 euros per adult 10 per child great value for money beautiful staff and that was the aquarium in lanzarote costa de geese make sure to like follow and subscribe i'll see you soon in the next vid